Greetings ladies and gentlemen, Jason Zelda here with a brief introduction. First of all, I want to welcome all the new people that have come to enjoy my YouTube videos that I've posted over the years, whether it be the Defense of the King James Bible, whether it be the Jason Zelda Does Cult Busting 101 videos, or the Understanding the Old Testament videos, or um, the Hidden from Jehovah's Witness video series, or even the Answering the Atheist video series. I want to welcome you all for coming in and enjoying the videos. This video here is not a new video. It's actually just an update of a video that I did a couple of years ago. There's some new information that's come out, so I decided to take the original video down, streamline it, and add this new information to it because I believe this is stuff that you'll find interesting. So those of you who've seen this video before, you may want to watch it again to see the new stuff that's been added. A while back I did a video called Hidden from Jehovah's Witnesses Video 8A The Smoking Gun. And in that video I talked about the Watchtower's finances and stocks that it's involved in. And it surprised a lot of people to find out what the Watchtower leadership has really been involved in. What a lot of people didn't know is that there's a part two to the smoking gun video. And that's what you're about to see. And now that I've had an opportunity to update it with some even newer information, I think it's going to hit home even more. My purpose of putting together this video and videos like these is real simple. I'm not out here to attack anybody. I don't try to lift myself up above anybody. I try to make myself better than anybody else or smarter than anybody else or nothing of that matter. I'm just a Christian defending his faith. And my purpose for putting together these videos is that there are a lot of people out there who join groups like Jehovah's Witnesses, Seventh-day Adventists, Roman Catholicism, a whole number of groups out there because they think they're joining a Christian religion. They think that they have to join a particular religious group in order to be pleasing to God. And I want to show them that you can't earn God's favor by joining some religious group and following their strict rules. Jesus never said one single time that you're supposed to go and join some religious organization in order to be pleasing to him or his father. He told you to come and follow him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest, Jesus said. He didn't say go to some religious organization. So I want people to know the freedom that is within Jesus Christ, that only comes through him. That if you want forgiveness of sins, Jesus is the only one that can get it to you, and the only one that can do it for you. That's my whole purpose behind these videos. So I'm really hoping that people are being reached and touched by these videos. I hope those of you who watched this video originally will watch it again and see some of the new stuff that I've added to it. And uh, I look forward to hearing your comments. And until next we meet, I'm Jason Zelda. Greetings everyone, this is the Hidden from Jehovah's Witness video series 8C. Didn't plan for it to be this long, but hopefully there's a lot of people out there that are being reached by this video series. Today we're going to be dealing with uh, answering a question that was asked by some Jehovah's Witnesses that had contacted me. They wanted some information about video 8A, the smoking gun. They wanted more proof that the Watchtower actually owns the stocks that I was talking about. And I'm more than happy to give it to you. There's one lady that contacted me. She was very upset with me, saying that I made her look bad in front of her elder. And uh, that bothered me a bit. I'm wondering, you know, what did I do? And she wrote that she watched video 8A, The Smoking Gun, about the Watchtower stocks and the stuff that they have stock in and so forth, and decided that she was going to go and tell her elder about it. Well, needless to say, the elder just labeled me as a liar and said that the Watchtower didn't own the stocks. He claimed that Henrietta M. Riley actually owns the stock and that there's a bank that's over the stock and not the Watchtower and this, that, and the other, and basically just brushed it all off and tried to present me as being a liar. And she sent me a message telling me I made her look bad. Well, <clears throat> what I want to do is take the opportunity now to set the record straight so that uh, anybody watching who has any questions about video 8A will know for certain 
that these indeed are the Watchtower stocks. I'm going to show you the proof and all the evidence, and I'm going to lay it all before you. Because as a researcher myself and the other researchers out there that do videos like this, there's nothing more frustrating than to go through all the work and time and the research and reading and studying and listening to speeches and all the things that we do to bring the information to you putting together the videos and all that goes into that, all the documentation, all the evidence laid out in all these videos, and then have an elder that has done no research, just simply brush it off and say it's all lies and move on to the next thing. So I want to give you guys some more proof and more evidence that the Watchtower actually owns these stocks. In order to do so, I need to set the table so that we can all sit down and eat together. I need to present everything and get everything out there so that we can understand where we're going. The Watchtower Society is a corporation. It is a global corporation, just like Walmart, just like Kmart, just like Target, just like Starbucks, just like McDonald's. It's a big company, big corporation. As a corporation, they also have multiple different names and you got to be aware of that or you're not really going to know what's going on because they have so many different names the right hand doesn't always know what the left hand is doing but at the same time the leadership at the top is controlling all of these different arms if you consider uh, an octopus with all these many different arms you have this arm over here doing one thing, you have this arm over here doing something else, you have this arm over here doing something else, but the leadership is controlling all the arms. And they can distract you with this arm over here while they're doing things with this one over here that you don't see. That's what's been going on on many different levels. But what we're dealing with here, let's cover some of the many different names that the Watchtower Society goes by. I got them written down here. And this is in no wise, by the way, a full list. These are just the ones that I've been able to come across. Some you're going to be familiar with. Some of them you may have never heard of before. But you can look into it and you can verify that what I'm telling you. These are different corporations that are owned or run by the Watchtower S Society. They're known as the Watchtower Society. They're known as Jehovah's Witnesses. They're known as the Watchtower, as one word. You gotta understand, when you deal with a corporation, you can have a name like Watchtower and have it as one word, and then somebody else can come along and have a company called Watchtower as two separate words, and it can cause confusion there. So what they've done is they've taken the term Watchtower and done many things with it. So they're called Watchtower Society, Jehovah's Witness, the Watchtower as one word. They're known as Jehovah's Christian Witnesses. They're known as the Bo Watchtower Bible and Tract Society Incorporated. They're known as the Christian Congregation of Jehovah's Witnesses. They're known as the European Association of Jehovah's Christian Witnesses. They're known as JW.org. They're known as the International Bible Students Association. They're known as Watch Tower Bible. Three separate words. You'll find that often in their IRS documents. They'll call themselves Watch Tower Bible. Three separate words, and you're going to see that. They're also known as the Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses. They incorporated that name in the year 2000, the Religious Order of Jehovah's Witnesses. They're also known as Kingdom Support Services Incorporated. They're also known as Mountain Brook Limited Partnership. They're also known as Watchtower Associates Limited. They're also known by this name, Bible Education Works. Somebody called my house a while back and was offering me a free home Bible study and I wanted to know what religion are you affiliated with you wanting to give me a Bible study and he didn't want to tell me so I just kept pressing what religion are you affiliated with I mean you want to have a Bible study with me what religion are you affiliated with and finally he comes out and says he's with the Jehovah's Witnesses so they're also known as the Bible education works they're known as Watchtower Brooklyn real estate Watchtower Brooklyn real estate this is their website. 
So as you see, they're telling you the world's going to end at any second. Any second, the world's going to end, they tell you. But at the same time, they have all these companies going on, all this money coming in, and they're leading you to think the world's going to end at any second, but they're not living like the world's going to end at any second. They're living for right now, making their money now, making their empire now. And it's very interesting. I came across this in my research. <clears throat> this is what it says here concerning some of the, uh, the money that the leadership has been making since 2001. It says here, in 2001, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Study of New York was listed among the top 40 revenue-generating companies in New York City, reporting an annual revenue of about $951 million. $951 million a year. They're estimated to be bringing in, and that was just 2001. So it does surprise me how they're coming on their network talking about there's more money going out than coming in and uh, asking their members to send them money when they're sitting on money like that. They should be sending you guys money with all the money they have there. But we've seen here all these different names that the Watchtower Society goes by and there's a whole bunch more. I just They're just so cleverly hidden. I'm not able to find them. I just don't have the time to go hunting down all their various different names and what they're involved in. But my main point is all these different names, but it's the same group. All these different corporations, but it's the same group. Nobody's going to deny that the Watchtower and Jehovah's Witnesses is the same thing. You know, the International Bible Students Association and the Watchtower is the same thing. It's just a different name for the same group. The same thing goes for the video I was talking about video 8a when I talked about this trust fund called the Henrietta M. Riley trust fund that has the stocks in it that the watchtower owns. This Henrietta M. Riley trust fund goes by a whole bunch of different names also. And unless you do research, you wouldn't know that. There's a public name. The public name is Henrietta M. Riley trust. But there's a whole bunch of alternate and alias names that this trust fund goes by. So let's take a look at some. This here is an organization called Economic Research Institute. The link will be provided for you in the video. It says here Henrietta M. Riley Trust and it has the numbers there. It has the Circa Bank trustee, the address, and then you see it says aliases. So these are other names that this trust fund is known by. One of these aliases is H.M. Riley for H.M. Riley Trust for Watch Tower Bible. There's that three separate word name that I just got to mention to you guys about a little bit earlier. That three separate word name, Watch Tower Bible. It's they have Henrietta M. Riley Trust for Watch Tower. Again, two separate words, Watch Tower. Henrietta M. Riley Trust for Watch Tower Bible. See, the first one was H.M. Riley Trust. Now they have it as Henrietta M. Riley Trust for Watchtower Bible. Again, that three separate word name that the Watchtower is using. And then it has Riley Henrietta Trustee UW. So this one here has now given us five names that this trust fund is known by. But there's one more that we're going to jump on because the IRS has a way of cutting right through the smoke cutting right through all the nonsense, getting right down to the bottom line. Because you might say, well, all this is saying here is that this is the Henrietta M. Riley Trust for the Watchtower, but doesn't say that the Watchtower actually owns it. That's why you got to cut through the smoke and mirrors, go right to the source and find out what does the source call this trust fund? That brings us to this one here. This here is another organization that keeps track of trust funds and things of that nature. You'll see here again we have the Henrietta M. Riley Trust, the number listed, and what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the section marked as IRS details. IRS details. Underneath it says key facts. 
So these are the key facts, the main things that you need to know according to the IRS. Number one of the key facts is the alternate name for this trust fund. What does it say? It says the alternate name for the trust fund is Watch Tower Bible. Notice it doesn't say Henrietta Rally for Watchtower or HM Rally for Watchtower. No, because they know the Henrietta Rally part is over. It's not hers anymore. It's the Watchtowers now. So her name is off, even though the public name is always going to be Henrietta M. Rally Trust. The IRS knows the alternate name for this trust is the Watchtower Bible Trust Fund. Now for some, they might say, well, that's not good enough. They want more, more proof. And that's fine, because I've got it. And I'm gonna get this proof from a source that Jehovah's Witnesses can't deny, though some may want to. I'm gonna to go to their own publications and their own website. So let's start off here with the December 1st, 1987 Watchtower. We'll put it on the screen for you to see. <clears throat> Watchtower, December 1st, 1987, page 30, bottom of the page. It says how some contribute to the kingdom work. Now, one thing you're going to learn with the Watchtower Society, you remember when I read earlier where they talked about the uh, Watchtower Society is in the top 40 largest revenue generating companies? Let me read that again. In 2001, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York was listed among the top 40 revenue generating companies in New York City, reporting an annual revenue of about $951 million. So they know how to bring in money, big money. I want you to hear all the different ways that they bring in money, and I want you to listen to the strings that are attached to things like stocks, and trust funds because it's going to give you the solution as to why it's not Henrietta M. Riley stocks anymore it's the Watchtower stocks it's not the Henrietta M. Riley trust even though that's the public name the IRS tells you nope it's the Watchtower Bibles trust fund let's take a look at these how some contribute to the kingdom work. Number one, gifts. Voluntary donations of money may be sent directly to the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of Pennsylvania, 25 Columbia Heights, Brooklyn, New York, or to the society's local branch properties such as real estate, as well as jewelry or other valuables can also be donated. They don't leave a stone unturned, man. Real estate, property, jewelry, if it's valuable, they want it. Number two, conditional donated arrangement. Money may be given to the Watchtower Society to be held in trust with the provision that in case of personal need, it'll be returned to the donor. That's rare. That's rare. Insurance, yeah. The Watchtower Society may be named as the beneficiary of a life insurance policy or in a retirement pension plan. The society should be informed of any such arrangements. What they're doing here is this. They're bumping your family out. They're coming in and saying, turn over your pension, your insurance, your life insurance, and other things that would normally go to your heirs. And they're bumping the heirs out of the way and having you say, send the money to them, to the watchtower instead. Now we're hitting to where the rubber meets the road. Trust funds, that's what we were talking about in video 8A, the trust funds that has all the stocks in it. I want you to listen closely to the string that's attached to the trust fund. This is the December 1st, 1987 Watchtower. Trusts, bank saving accounts can be placed in trust for the society. If this is done, please inform the society. Now again, let me stop right there. For anybody that tries to tell you that the leadership doesn't know about these stocks, this watchtower just tells you they do. Because if you're donating your stocks, they're saying notify the society and let us know. 
keep it on the screen. Bank saving accounts can be placed in trust for the society. If this is done, please inform the society. Stocks, bonds, and property can also be donated under an arrangement to benefit the donor during his or her lifetime. This method eliminates the expense and uncertainties of probate of will while ensuring that the society receives the property in the event of death. You see that big long string attached? They'll take your trust fund. And for as long as you're alive, they may share some of it with you. But once you're dead, it becomes the watchtower's property to use however they see fit. Very important. while ensuring that the society receives the property in the event of death. They also take wills, property, or money may be bequeathed to the Watchtower Society by means of a legally executed will. A copy should be sent to the society. Again, the leadership will know. Don't let them tell you they don't know about these stocks. This is 1987. It's 2016 now. Has anything changed? Well, let's see. Here they say, you donate your trust, it becomes the Watchtower's property upon your death. Let's see what JW.org has to say about money. Remember I told you they leave no bases uncovered? Listen to this. Electronic bank transfers. Donate to the local office of Jehovah's Witnesses by electronic bank transfer, and they have an address here to use in Walk Hill, New York. Check or money order. Donate to a local Jehovah's Witness office of Jehovah's Witnesses by sending a check or money order to the following address. Again, Walk Hill, New York. Your local kingdom hall. Now your local Kingdom Hall becomes a place you can send money to. It says here, you may donate by placing your donation in a congregation contribution box labeled Worldwide Work. The congregation forwards these donations to the offices of Jehovah's Witnesses that serves their country. So the Kingdom Hall don't even get to keep the money you give. They got to send it off to the leaders. And some of you thought that I was kidding when I said that they don't leave a stone unturned when it comes to getting your money. But look at this next one. JW Donations Rewards Program. Donate gift cards and various rewards points to our organization. So they want you to donate your, your gift cards and your points to them. Remember, this is the same organization that we just read earlier that brings in over $950 million a year. What do they need with your frequent flyer points? What do they need with your fuel points? They've got plenty of money for flying or for fuel. And certainly Jehovah doesn't need your frequent flyer miles. Why would you give your stuff over to these guys when they're sitting on all kinds of money? It just shows you that my King James Bible is 100% correct when it says that the love of money is the root of all evil. These men have tons of money, yet here they are coming up with every avenue that they can come up with to get your valuables away from you, both in life and after you die as well. Conditional donation arrangement they have here. Donate to a local office of Jehovah's Witnesses with the condition that your donation can be returned if needed. <laughs> right. Charitable planning. Donations may be made now or later, such as when divesting an asset or through bequest at death. Planning can be maximized to benefit. Since legal requirements and tax laws vary, consult a qualified tax or legal advisor before choosing the best way for you to donate. So what ways are they wanting you to donate? They have even more ways of getting your money. 
Let's read it out. This is right from JW.org, by the way. Right from JW.org. How some choose to contribute to the worldwide work. It says, outright donations. Donations via electronic bank transfer, debit cards, or credit cards. In some branches, this is also possible using JW.org or other designated websites. So they have other designated websites to donate money to the organization besides JW.org? I think my phone agrees. It says here, donations of cash, jewelry, or other valuables personal property including a letter indicating that the cash or the item is an outright donation I'm telling you they leave no bases uncovered it has here conditional donation arrangements donations of cash with the condition that it can be returned if needed by the donor we've heard that one before now haven't we include a letter stating that this is a donation is conditional Charitable planning, in addition to gifts of money and valuables, personal property, there are other methods of giving to benefit kingdom services worldwide. These are listed below. Regardless of the methods or methods you'd like to use, please first contact the branch office that serves your country to see which methods are available. Since legal requirements and tax laws vary, it is very important that you consult qualified tax or legal advisors before choosing the best way to donate. So what are they wanting you to donate now? It says, insurance. A donation may be made by specifying an entity used by Jehovah's Witnesses as the beneficiary of a life insurance policy or retirement pension plan. Now remember, back in 1987, they're requesting the same thing. This is 2016. We're going to weave all this together to the stocks. Just stay tuned. Next up, you can donate your bank account. Bank accounts, certificates of deposit, or individual retirement accounts set up as a trust or made payable on death to an entity used by Jehovah's Witnesses in accord with the local bank requirements. What are these entities used by Jehovah's Witnesses? Oh, those are some of these other corporations that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And some others that I wasn't able to get to. Here we go. Stocks and bonds. That's what we were talking about in video 8A. Stocks and bonds donated to an entity used by Jehovah's Witnesses as an outright gift or by means of a written agreement to transfer on death. Let me read that again. Stocks and bonds. Stocks and bonds donated to an entity used by Jehovah's Witnesses as an outright gift or by means of a written agreement to transfer on death. Let me take a moment here. That elder called me a liar. He said the Watchtower didn't own the stocks I was talking about in video 8A. The stocks in the military companies that make missiles, tanks, and helicopters, and other things that kill people. He claimed they didn't own those stocks in Lionsgate entertainment that makes movies like Twilight and other movies that they really don't want their members watching because it has things like magic and stuff in it. He called me a liar claiming that the stocks I was talking about in all of these pharmaceutical companies that I didn't even cover in the video because it would have taken too long. And all the stocks that they have in the various different alcohol companies like Coors and Heineken and even stronger drink. This elder, without doing any research, ignoring all the evidence, called me a liar. According to JW.org, and as you see on the bottom of this page, copyright 2016 Watchtower Bible and Tract Society. It's a 2016 document. 
I'm using it under the fair use clause of the copyright law for informational purposes and educational purposes. They said here, if you give your stocks to the watchtower, it becomes the watchtower's property upon your death. This one here says, if you give your trust fund to the watchtower, it becomes the watchtower's property upon your death. In video 8A, I talked about the Henrietta M. Riley Watchtower Bible Trust Fund. I called it the Watchtower Stocks because it is. Because if Henrietta M. Riley was alive, it would be her stocks. But if I only had proof that Henrietta M. Riley is dead, then I'd be telling the truth, then wouldn't I? I just need a little proof that Henrietta M. Riley is dead. And if it's proven that she's dead, then that means the Watchtower does own the Henrietta M. Riley Trust Fund, doesn't it? It means that they do own the stocks that are in that trust fund, doesn't it? So here's my proof that Henrietta M. Riley is dead. Put it on the screen, please. This is the Allentown Cemetery in New York. And this is the grave site of Henrietta M. Riley. As you see, she's been dead for a long time. 1945. Her trust fund, according to the IRS, was turned over to the Watchtower Society in 1970. They've had this trust fund and stocks for 45 years so far. And they've been making money hand over fist with it. Because Henrietta M. Riley was already dead by the time they got the stocks, it became their property on day one. According to Watchtower Magazine and JW.org. Now who's lying? This trust fund is not new. It's been around for quite some time. As a matter of fact, around 2002, there was a major controversy that blew up within the Watchtower because the Henrietta M. Riley Watchtower Bible Trust Fund surfaced and there were Jehovah's Witnesses that were courageous enough to actually look at it and see what it said. They didn't have any question as to whether or not it was the Watchtower stocks. They knew it was the Watchtower stocks because it said so. The IRS said so, Watchtower Bible Trust. But what was happening in 2002, 2001 in that area there, Jehovah's Witnesses were being kicked out, disfellowshipped and shunned for smoking. And then the Henrietta M. Riley Watchtower Bible Trust Fund surfaced. And back in 2001, put it on the screen, you see the tax record from the Watchtower, the stocks from the Henrietta M. Riley Watchtower Bible Trust Fund. And listed among the stocks, while they were kicking people out of the group for smoking, they had stock in the Philip Morris Company. So what's Philip Morris? Because you don't see commercials with Philip Morris on TV. They were banned a long time ago. So I'm going to play you a commercial of what Philip Morris makes. Lucy? Yes, dear? Give me a cigarette, will you, hon? Don't say cigarette. Say Philip Morris. Oh? Is there any other kind? Not for you, there isn't. Nothing but the best for Mr. Ricardo. Thank you. Lucy, you're so good to me. You see how easy it is to keep a man happy? Why not give your husband a carton of Philip Morris cigarettes? Smart move. 
He loved them for their mildness, their smoothness, and their wonderful good taste. And he'll love you, too, for thinking of him. That's right. Good night, everybody. And don't forget, call for Philip Morris. Call for Philip Morris! That's right. While they were kicking people out of the group and shunning them for smoking, with this arm of the octopus, with this arm of the octopus, they were stuffing their pockets full with money from the Philip Morris company that made the cigarette that the Jehovah's Witness was smoking. So why would it surprise you that the Watchtower leadership would be invested in military companies with this arm while telling you with this arm they have nothing to do with it. The evidence is laid out before you. The question is, are you going to believe the evidence or are you going to believe a group of people who claim they speak for God? They claim they speak for God. I want to go back again to what I read earlier at the beginning of this video. In 2001, the Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York was listed among the top 40 revenue generating companies. It didn't say religion. It didn't say religion. Because the business world knows the Watchtower Society is not a religion. It's a company. Just like Walmart. Just like Target. Just like Coca-Cola and Pepsi and McDonald's. It's a global business. And you are the one being merchandised because they have you working for them for free. As a matter of fact, I think they have you paying them. Stop and think about it. The next time you see the leaders of the Watchtower come on TV talking about there's more money going out than coming in, just remember this number. Reported an annual revenue of $951 million. Annual. That's every year. $951 million. Nine hundred fifty one million, nine hundred fifty one million, nine hundred fifty one million. Where'd they get all that money from? Where'd they get all that money from? If you're not allowed to sell your books, as so many Jehovah Witnesses keep telling me, then where are they getting that kind of money from? I'm gonna leave that to you to find out because my research is almost over. The next time you hear the leadership of the Jehovah's Witnesses begging for money, I want you to remember what I'm about to show you. This is an article out of New York from a uh, publication called The Real Deal. It's online. It's therealdeal.com slash tag slash Jehovah's Witnesses. This is what it says here. and I'm just going to read off the ones where the actual sale price of the buildings are on display the real deal New York real estate news look at what it says here and you can see by the uh, advertisement here this is recent okay Jehovah's Witnesses Kanye Anderson lands 200 million dollar loan for former Jehovah's Witness building August 3rd 2018 so the watchtower is uh, what 200 million in the next article from January 18th, 2018. Those were the biggest Q4 deals in Brooklyn. Another quarter, another massive Jehovah's Witness deal in Brooklyn. The religious organization's $202.5 million sale of 21 Clark Street topped the list of Brooklyn's and it goes on. So we now have another 202 million. Just from the sales of those two buildings, you have almost a half a billion dollars just in New York 
just for this year of 2018. Let's go down to the next one where our price is shown. Scroll down. November 15th, 2017. It says updated 1046 a.m. November 16th. Developer Jeffrey Gershon has closed on his $60 million purchase of the Jehovah's Witness building at 74 Adams Street. There's another $60 million into the watchtower. Scroll down. Florida firm gets $107 million loan for purchase of Jehovah's Witness building. Go down to the next one. Oh, by the way, that's November 8th, 2017. Florida firm pays $200 million for Jehovah's Witness building, plans luxury units for seniors, November 1st, 2017. The next one, dated September 5th, 2017. Abby Rosen pays $135 million for former Jehovah's Witness Hotel. Anybody out there calculating how much money that's coming in here? L.A. Firm scoops up Jehovah's Witness Building for $58 million, August 31st, 2017. Somebody doing the math out there? They said there's more money going out than coming in. What in the world is going on that so much money is going out if they're bringing this much money in? Next one, August 16th, 2017. Another Jehovah's Witness property sells, this time for $18 million. I'm going to give you guys the link so you guys can read the articles about these. It says here, end is nigh for Watchtower sign. Iconic placard comes down after the $340 million sale. June 26, 2017. May 23rd, 2017. Jeffrey Gershon to buy Jehovah's Witness site in Dumbo for $60 million. February 14, 2017. Clippers to buy BK Rental from Jehovah's Witnesses for $88 million. Is anybody uh, anybody uh, still following the, the old bouncing ball here? Rabskis buy Jehovah's Witness building for $65 million, December 1st, 2016. Just calculate how much money we just talked about right here just on this one page for a basically a, a three-year period how much money are we talking guys how much money are we talking ain't nothing wrong with selling real estate nothing wrong with making money but when you have an organization that keeps your people in perpetual and continual fear that the world is going to end at any second. Why is it that the leadership is sitting back becoming billionaires selling properties like this? And they're telling you that the world's going to end at any second. Obviously, they're not living like the world's going to end at any second, folks. These guys are making money hand over fist. And this is just the real estate, a small portion of the real estate. The Watchtower is global. How much more money they're making out there? So as you see, I'm not making this stuff up. That elder can call me a liar all he wants. The evidence is right here in front of anybody if they just open their eyes and look at it. They came on their network and said there's more money going out than coming in. And you need to ask, if you're a Jehovah's Witness, if this kind of money is coming in, and I guarantee you they never told you they were making this kind of money. They never told you. If this kind of money is coming in, then what in the world is going on that more money is going out than they have coming in as they claim? Or did they lie to you by telling you there's more money going out so that you could send them more of your money, your property, your jewelry, your frequent flower miles, your points, your life? I guarantee you, Jehovah does not need your McDonald's gift card or your Walmart gift card or your fuel card or your frequent flyer miles, as I said earlier. This organization is not of God. 
I'm hoping you can see that. It doesn't seem to matter to them. If it's valuable, the leadership wants it because it's all about the money. They want the property, jewelry, the valuables, the stocks. They want it all. And in closing, I'll simply say this. Does the Watchtower own those stocks? Yeah, they do. Because Henrietta and Riley's dead. And according to JW.org and their Watchtower magazine, if you give them your trust funds, if you give them your stocks, the moment you die, it doesn't go to your family. They're out of luck. It becomes the Watchtower's property for them to do with it as they see fit. And boy, have they been getting paid. I find it interesting. There's so many of us out here doing videos. We hardly make anything, if anything, from the videos. Some of us have donation links on our, on our YouTube or whatever, our, our home pages or whatever. We hardly get anything ever. But a group like the Watchtower, which is making their money by deceiving their members, gets to make hundreds of millions of dollars. Enjoy the money, boys. There's a judgment day coming. And God doesn't take American Express. <laughs>